Have you ever wondered how I got my plane of glass that I use for my water drops photography over the last couple of months? I'm going to show you how to make one in this video. So over the last few months we've been playing with water drop photography either just normal water drops or doing refraction photography and one of the items i've been using is this plane of glass that i've been placing on a couple of coke cans and then shooting through it so this plane of glass is very useful i also use this type of technique if i wanted to photograph a gecko's foot if you want to photograph the underneath of a spider which i might do in the future so let me know in the comments below if you want to see that video anything to do where you've got to shoot through something but uh, you've got to suspend something in the air make it look like it's in the air like the water drops or a spider or, or such as so that is where this planning glass is very very useful and i've had a few people messaging me asking me how did i make this plane of glass so i'm going to take you through that process now it's very very simple now have you ever heard the expression do as i say not what i do that uh, entails very very nicely in this video now what i did is I, um, I had an old uh, fish tank and I took it apart. And as you can see from the edges here, they are very, very sharp. There's a lot of chips on it. So what I did is I just took some gaffer tape and taped over the edges. In the process of making that one there and going through this process, I cut my hand open three times. Yeah, on the Jar Jar Binks of the photography world. So don't do as I did and do what I say in this video. There's a very easy way to get this effect. And that is, you go out and get yourself a photo frame. This is an eight by 10 photo frame. It's basically an A4 photo frame, okay? Now, when you're picking your photo frame, make sure that it is a glass photo frame. I will come back to that in a minute. So I got this from the pound shop. Uh, I believe you have dollar stores in America. Do uh, comment below if that is correct. So I know in future videos what to call it. But yes, basically you pay one pound or one dollar for a photo frame. And this is very, very easy, okay? And I should have done this for mine, okay? What we're going to do is we are simply going to undo the back as you would if you're going to place a picture into it. We shall take out the, uh, the wooden stand, place that to one side, take out the piece of paper that comes with it, and then simply reseal this photo frame. And there we go very very easy i can now place that onto the coke cans put my water drops on it and i'm not going to cut my fingers now of course you can go through put masking tape on the edges if you want to but it's a nice grip that you can have on the photo frame and it's that simple it's really that simple it's just a photo frame now coming back to when i said about checking that the photo frame is glass okay i want to show you this one because they had two in you had the eight by ten and the A3 and I thought the A3 would be nice to get the camera further away to get more uh, in frame because I want to do more skeleton leaf photography where the whole leaf is in focus I thought nice A3 frame get the camera up high and we can get some nice images of our skeleton leaves the problem here is when I came to open this up because I wanted this as a, another example of the photo frame what I found was the glass is not actually glass. It's, it's really flimsy plastic. So that is not going to work. It's useless. I don't even have an A3 printer to put a print into it. So do please make sure you get one with a glass in it because the glass we're going to be able to rub it down the way next to get those nice beads of water on there. So that's how you can create your own plane of glass for doing some water drop refraction photography on it. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done already and click that bell icon to get more videos. But that's it for this video. My name's Stuart Wood and I will see you on the next video. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. Nope. How to make it, not how to do it. You're not doing it, you're making it. And I've been emailed several times and uh, a couple of the... the oh, hold on. Didn't press record. <laughs> Ever wondered how I made the plane of glass for the, uh, the... Ever wondered how I made the plane of glass for the water drop photography that I've been doing in the last...
Now this this video is gonna be full of full of your uh, outtakes. This is, isn't it? Ever wondered how I got the plane of glass that I used for the water drop photography in the last few couple of? Fuck! Come on! It's a simple sentence. You can get it out. Have you ever wondered how I got the plane of glass that I've been using for the? Ugh. Let's cover it up with B while. Let's just make things simple, shall we? Let's let's do what Lee Hall says. Keep things simple. So that is how I created. So that is it's not how I created it because I did it completely wrong. I cut all my hands open. So that's not how I created it. <laughs> let's restart that line, shall we?